I begin this video, I just want to say that, um, I know about if how ever since my channel has existed, I've only made one top, like, 10 or top 5 video, and that was for my 100 subs thing, that was over about a year ago, um, spoiler alert, it was crap, but, um, it was still my first one, and it's still, I can understand it being kind of that way it was, um, but, anywho, the reason why I'm saying that is because, like, I never thought I'd make another one, but the reason why I am is because of the fact that I just want to talk about the new Super Mario Bros. series because it's, I just feel that that series just gets hated way too much in my opinion and you know there's, there's just more I feel there's more negativity for the, on the series rather than positivity and because of that you know I, ought to, I feel that you know someone ought to make a video you know saying the positives about the new Super Mario Bros. series rather than the negatives so, that somebody is me, obviously, I know, I bet you wish it could be somebody else, but hey, so far I'm like the only person who's making like a positive thing, the video about this, so, uh, hopefully you guys understand, but, um, yeah, and, you know, with the, ever since New Super Mario Bros. Odyssey, ever since Super Mario Odyssey got revealed, like, you know, about two weeks ago, I wanted to also make this video too, because, you know, I mean, you know, I hear some people saying about a foul, you know, 2D Mario needs to take a break, and I agree with that, but, you know, at the same time, though, I mean, it's still not as, I don't think it's as bad as everybody thinks, I mean, I, I enjoy the 2D games pretty much almost as much as 3D ones, you know, so that's just, I thought I, should, I just thought I should tell you guys why I'm making this video, and why it just may seem so out of the ordinary, and granted, this is top 5, not top 10, but it's still, you know, a top something, so, yeah. Um, but hey, anywho, um, enough of my talking, you probably skipped this part anyway, so you probably have, aren't even listening to what I'm saying, but hey, you know, it's still worth talking for the extra ad revenue, am I right? Uh, but anywho, that's all I gotta say, so I hope you guys enjoy the video for those of you who are still watching me ramble, so, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. What? Number 5. Good level design. One of the things that has always been a constant throughout the New Super Mario Bros. series is good level design. So far, ever since I've started playing the New Super Mario Bros. games, I've never run into any crazier bad level design. Now don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm not saying that the New Super Mario Bros. series hasn't had difficult levels. Oh, trust me, there's plenty of them. <coughs> Superstar Road. <coughs> but even then, there's a difference between bad level design and a level that's just designed difficult. Seriously, I mean, if you want to know a game with bad level design, go play Sonic Advance 3 or Super Mario Maker. But more so Sonic Advance 3, because people can actually control how the level looks in Mario Maker, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Number 4. Replayability. If there's one thing that the New Super Mario Bros. games are good at doing, it's replayability. Especially in the portable versions, where you can unlock Luigi after completing the main game who, while he may not be that much different from Mario, he can still jump slightly higher, which can make replaying the levels more fun, especially if you're tracking down any missing star coins. And sometimes his power-up forms also look different than Mario's, which leads me to my next favorite thing about the New Super Mario Bros. series. <laughs> Number 3. Power-ups. From the amazing blue shell to the overpowered Mega Mushroom, the New Super Mario Bros. series is just a series that keeps on giving. Well, when it comes to power-ups anyway. Every time I go and replay the New Super Mario Bros. series, I always love how there's a brand new power-up for every game, with the blue shell, Mega Mushroom, and Mini Mushroom being introduced in the original New Super Mario Bros. game, the propeller and penguin suit being introduced in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the gold flower in New Super Mario Bros. 2, and finally, the super acorn in New Super Mario Bros. U. All of which change up how you play the game. My most favorite power-up in the New Super Mario Bros. series so far is the Super Acorn, which gives you the ability to glide around and cling on walls. In fact, to be honest with you, I actually hope that Nintendo used this power-up in a 3D Mario game, as it'd be great to be like Knuckles the Echidna and just glide wherever you want to go. Number 2. The Lighting. New Super Mario Bros. games always tend to have really good lighting when you think about it, especially in towers and castles where Mario's skin actually gets an orange hue due to the glow of the lava. The lighting gets really good in New Super Mario Bros. U though, as there were plenty of times when I was simply awestruck over how good the lighting in that game was. Like seriously, it kind of reminded me of Sonic Unleashed's lighting engine. I mean, don't get me wrong, Unleashed did have a better lighting engine than New Super Mario Bros. U, but uh, New Super Mario Bros. U's lighting engine still came close to it though, in my opinion. Number 1. The Music 
Now, I'll be honest, out of all the Mario series out there, from the RPGs to the spin-off titles to the puzzle games, the new Super Mario Bros. series soundtrack is the one I like the least, reason being because up until New Super Mario Bros. U, the music, most of the main theme, didn't change that much. And the New Super Mario Bros. soundtrack as a whole sounds pretty bad compared to the rest of the Mario series, if you were to be honest with it, as it lacks orchestra, or just really any other, you know, normal instruments. But despite that, there are so many tunes that I enjoy listening to on a regular basis. In fact, if you've seen my dank music playlist, you, you probably noticed that I have some New Super Mario Bros. music in there. That's because, like I said before, there are some memorable tunes, such as the Desert Overworld theme from the original New Super Mario Bros. And my personal favorite, the World 7 theme from the original New Super Mario Bros. game as well. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't mention any music from the newer games. That's because the original New Super Mario Bros. had the best soundtrack out of the four games in my opinion. Now maybe that's because they haven't been overused to death like the newer versions of the game, or it could just be because of nostalgia. I really don't know why, but anyway, those are my five reasons why I love the New Super Mario Bros. series. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also one more thing, stop asking for sub for sub please, it's getting very old. Plus there's normally always one person in the comment section who always says or asks like, Hey, I liked your video! I subbed! Can you sub me, please? I mean, asking me to sub you will only make me not check out your channel, because it just shows you're desperate for subscribers and, for, and promotion, which is definitely not a good way to, you know, go. But hey, no one listens to me anyway, right? So I guess I shouldn't even waste my breath. But for real, if this video gets enough support, I'll definitely do more of these. This is Mariaxi, sign off. Peace.